Hello everyone, welcome back to Critics News with more update on us. You take the go. May we go straight to the reason why we're here today. In case you never follow us on our social media handles, I beg quickly you follow us on our pages and um, on our YouTube channel. Please subscribe to our channel on YouTube. And may they help us to share the video on Critics News. Thank you very much. Let's go straight. As in the happen now, they said that um the former vice president of Nigeria, what they call her Tiku Abubakar, don't see and say, hmm, the way when this country take the go with the kind force when ABC they pull inside the country, so say bless say the thing no go get her do so hmm, they need to unite. On I go no say in the previous uh, election when happened now, how APC take uh, send every other party to rest and then defeated them because uh, there was a split of power between him and uh, Peter B. When I go remember, say Peter B been there for um, PDP and Peter B be one contest as president for PDP. May Atiku become the vice. But Atiku say no, for we are Lord you know, say, you know, go agree, oh, the North cannot bow to the South. Say like that, you know, if you walk, you know, no say, no be like that. Take the walk now. <laughs> I see they happen now. Now they take Jagaba and take Jagad them inside one corner. So because of all these things, they don't tell and say Atiku, Oga, you go, you go just kill this PDP, pata pata. You go just buy PDP. So may you, may you mellow down, may Peter be go front. Now Atiku now don't come and come talk say, eh, if, uh, if Peter be one become president, if he be like saying at the turn of the Southeast, eh, I go allow them, may them become uh, president. May they make uh, Peter be run as president in 2027. Now look at, let me show you. <laughs> he said 2027, say he never tired 2027 elections. I'm not yet tired of politics. PDP, but PDP will decide my fate. Oga, go rest, go rest. You don't, you don't misuse opportunity when you're supposed to take, you know, when I suppose they in power now. Peter be supposed to be president under PDP. Then you go be vice. At least you know go worse to reach this one when APC put us today. Now you don't they, you don't see how when we they tell on and say shift shift. Now so you take for Shupi to be now enter inside Labour Party. Now you don't see the difference. So you don't come out now. Look at his statement on this place now. He said 2027. If PDP decides that it is the turn of the Southeast and P to be is chosen. I won't hesitate to support him. Atiku. <laughs> Atiku, Atiku, our market. They don't shishi you. They can't run around within the room because if, if Peter will be still go for Labour Party, contest this election, and uh, uh, APC, they own, PDP, they own, the power goes still split, and APC is likely to, you know, <laughs> strangle them again. But if to say Atiku, somebody like Atiku Abubaka, we come from the north there. And I know how politics for Nigeria think they be. If to say they there, the back will be with other top top people where they there too. Maybe they think for gay head. But Atiku with big head. Now you carry big head, they block road for people where they say they get within they go offer. Now I see your life. Anyways, they say Peter will be go visit and maybe we start from there very quickly. Let's go. So now so the matter take the go now uh, in case you never here. Um I think we have a don't talk see um <coughs> that he will offer his support of his party zones, its presidential ticket to the Southeast and picks P2B as the candidate. That is if PDP chooses P2B as the presidential candidate. Speaking during a recent interview with BBC House, Atiku said, I have said repeatedly, and I have I even said it before the 2023 general election, that if the PDP decides to zone the presidential ticket to the Southeast or to the South or Southeast specifically, I won't contest it as long as it's the decision of the party, I will abide by it. But I contested the 2023 presidential ticket because it was thrown open to all members of the party. They throw them open to all members of the party. And you, you know if you use common sense, Atiku. You know if you use common sense, know when to do things. Now be the thing where we they talk. 
on how will you sense they do politics on how just they eh, because now me eh, I be not eh, carry me now see where they don't carry you now so if the party no still zone and now give you say oh and eh, you try I'm open you can still run eh, I want to become president go become now you go contest tire no no evidence if the party decides that it's the turn of the South East and Peter B is choosing, I won't hesitate to support him, Atiku said. When asked about his recent meeting with Peter B, Atiku said, it's just a normal friendly meeting that we often have, particularly among us in the opposition party. Such meetings are healthy for Nigeria's democracy and in the country's interest. On whether this will bring about a merger, he said, Yes, it's very much possible. We can march to achieve a common goal. So it's possible and nothing can stop it if we wish to achieve that. The former vice president denied that the choice of presidential candidate might frustrate the merger discussion. That's not true. That challenge will not arise. Okay, I can tell you that the choice of who will fly the flag of the party won't be an issue, he said. So... Now, waiting in the talk, in essence, that uh, <laughs> this time around, saying don't get sense, you don't get wisdom. Now, waiting with the say, well, now they just they play politics, say, oh, maybe we just they plan because of, say, I be not, this one be sad, make I just they plan. Now, see, waiting that they talk uh, concerning the meeting of uh, Peter B with Hatiku Abubakar. Now, here. Um, let me draw your attention uh, during the last Ramadan fasting period. His Excellency Peter Gregory Obi visited the northern part and uh, had a contact, first-hand contact with the people and with the terrain of the northern part of the country. And he, he came to realize the level of challenges that the people are facing in this particular domain. And these issues range from education, water, and even economic well-being with regard to the issue of uh, uh, health and education. Now, in his meeting the people, he felt their pain and their pang. And this, of course, now created this particular thought in his mind that after his last um, press conference, he challenged a lot of Nigerians to come in support of Nigerians because of the situation in which we find ourselves. People cannot eat three square meal. People cannot send their children to school. People are in abject poverty, and then our leaders need to come to terms with this situation. And that is why, that is the reason why he visited these key leaders. The key leaders, of course, if you look carefully, represents the three geographical zones in the northern part, using them as a point of contact for all other leaders in the uh, northern part, by extension, the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Uh, our revered former Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Elijah Atiku Abubakar, is from the northeastern part of the country, while um, Sule Lamido is also the former governor of Jigawa State, is from the northwest of the northern part. And uh, the former Senate President, Bukola Saraki, is from the north central of the northern part of the country. Now, meeting them, he was able to have a discussion with them. Let's work together in pulling people out of poverty. Pulling people out of poverty will help in ser series of areas, in terms of uh, security, in terms of quality uh, workforce, in terms of well, healthy individuals, and at the same time, preparing those particular children, especially the Almagiris, from uh, a cake way of uh, education into a modern way of education. So let us collaborate together and work together to pull Nigeria out of poverty and save this country from a very uh, serious situation that we may, be able, we may be facing in the nearest future. These are the major reasons why he has to visit all of these leaders. And then and I'm, uh, we, are, we are so happy that they welcome him with two hands and warmly. And that, of course, has led to a lot of, of course, uh, issues being raised in the public domain. All right. Um, I believe uh, I believe so. When I don't hear him as he take uh, the talk I'm for there. Uh, say that um, without those ones, no go be issue. I'm um, on top of this matter. Uh, they say Abure, don't still talk. Put for this one. Make a show now. This video sharpened in no time. <laughs> well, um, on the first question, if any. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Well, if any person has alleged that they have taken over the leadership of a party, they say the facts speak for themselves. Repsi Saluquito. Repsi Saluquito. You can see that nobody has taken over the leadership of the party. The leadership of the party is one. And it's led by this National Working Committee that you see. My own approach is to allow people to exhaust themselves and where they stop, I will start from here. I didn't, I didn't join issues. But on Tuesday, I was in the meeting with INEC on Monday. And the facts spoke for itself. Under INEC invitation, specially invited. And the leadership of the party is not in doubt. It's clear and it's obvious. Even the blind man will feel it. So it's obvious. The leadership of the party is intact. And there's no doubt about it. As usual, we will um, we'll continue to reach out to the NLC and all other stakeholders for us to um, have a common front. Um, a lot of other people are also doing the same thing. And I'm sure that my speech also captured it, that we are going to set up peace and reconciliation committee. And I'm sure that all of this is geared towards achieving that objective. Well, um, you will agree with me that my presidential candidate, Peter Albi, is a friend to everybody. Even those who abuse them, those who abuse him, he visits them, he call them his friends. You've seen that he, has, he is not a, a Muslim, but he participated in fasting. I was breaking fast with uh, Muslims across the country. He goes to IDP camps. He visits pol politicians of four class. And so his visit to, to Atiku may or may not be related to politics. And so for me, there's nothing unusual about uh, his visit to Atiku and others. However, if visiting Atiku will make PO president, what's my problem with that? <laughs> if, 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 if visiting Saraki, if visiting Saraki, Kwakwaso and Co will make PO president of Nigeria, what's my problem with that? So, for me, when we get to the bridge, we will cross that bridge. And so, um, for me, there is nothing unusual about it. It's his usual way of visiting everybody. And so, I um, there is no big deal about that. About the parliament, for those who have followed my speech, all right, all right, all right. It's okay. Uh, Aburu, it's okay. We don't hear with you talk. When <laughs> I don't hear him, now that Pito will be side. Now I want capture. So we say uh, if Pito Obi can do whatever it takes to become president in 2027, there's no problem. Case dismissed. So <laughs> it'd be like say this connection is down. Don't start. They don't say and say if they are divided, they cannot achieve anything. A house divided against itself to stand. It will be wahala. <laughs> Use your common sense. Unity in purpose is the most important thing for you to achieve anything in life. I'll come back with more updates. Please don't forget to share our videos. God bless you.